Hey guys, this is Cheryl and I wanted to share something else with you. So right here, you see where the um, stakes are? There's three stakes. It's just for me, so I know that I planted something, you know, between the stakes there. So all right there, between the stakes, I planted some bok choy didn't come up yet because I just planted it like a couple days ago and then back along the fence line where that freshly dug dirt is it's two rows of the I believe the Detroit red beads so I want to get a continuous um harvest of beets so I'm just planting beets here and there and you know making sure that I I get a lot of beets I just love beets and so does my kids and then look here I planted some sunflowers remember where my um my corn was here and didn't make it so in memory of that sad corn I planted something positive which is sunflowers so they're getting big here anyway just wanted to share that with you thanks for watching aloha and right here guys you see those new plants here and here all down the line it's um short white radishes so they look like they're doing fine and and then here is some cucumber plants popping up slowly but they are coming up also wanted to show you guys something beautiful so before in this bed i had the oh my gosh ruby queen beads you know, I tend to forget sometimes. Anyway, look at how beautiful my beets are turning out. This is the Detroit Reds. And honestly, some can already be harvested. I like to, I like my beets more on the smaller side. Look. If, if you've never had fresh beets, guys, straight from the garden, oh my gosh, it is, oh, I was going to say something bad, but no, because I'm so happy, it's so good. Anyway, it's fabulous. That's all I need to say. Sweet. Oh my God. I like to just boil mine throw it in some icy cold water right after and it peels so easily even my kids love them and look a volunteer sunflower right in the beet bed but yeah there is some beets that I can harvest but I'm I'm just gonna leave them a little bit longer the bigger the little bigger ones I'm gonna leave in maybe about another week and then I'll pick them but they're doing good and I got more beets in the garden I just planted like a couple days ago didn't come up yet there's one in the back garden a couple days ago and then yesterday I planted more so we'll see hey guys this is Cheryl I wanted to share something fabulous on the other hand look at this yard long pole beans ready to harvest I think this one's where it looks like it and I want to harvest it because look at it's touching the ground even this one you know the last time I tried planting this the 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 leaves of the the bean plants they got all powdery mildew it took over and I already see some starting there so I want to spray baking soda but 
why should I? It's been raining off and on, so I would have to wait for a nice sunny day. But anyway, I have to go ahead and pick some of these beans because something is going to eat it definitely if I leave it on the vine. But anyway, thanks for watching. Aloha.